Hello, welcome back to my channel. This time we will try to go online with existing settings. This setting is a basic setting. In this setting I made a positioning system, namely GPS 1 as the primary position. Then I have a single beam echo sounder for depth tools. Then I also have a multi-beam system. And not to forget I have a gyro for the direction of the ship. I also have a side scan sonar along with a magnetometer for this exercise. All of these systems use simulators because I don't have an actual sensor system at the moment. For the side scan sonar position I use USBL manual input while the magnetometer position uses layback made from the side scan sonar position. If you don't know how to make this layback manual, you should watch my previous video. For online mode, you can select the online button from the template database or from the controller. Then the online mode display will appear. For the initial display, you only have the Windows controller. Then there is the input driver manual which is the result of creating a manual layback system. We can fill in the distance on this input driver manual. Then you've got Windows Simulator for position and depth. To add the required display, click on the Display Manager button. Add the required windows by selecting Add Display. For example, I will add Windows Navigation. This window is very important because it shows the position of our vessel against the survey area. You can create more than one navigation window. You can change the appearance of navigation windows that differ from one another. This serves to distinguish which navigation display is for us and which navigation display is for marine crew. So when we edit something, the navigation window for the steering marine crew does not change. Now add node QC display. This window is useful to check whether your computation is working properly and whether all nodes are computed as required. A node is a position on an object relative to the object's coordinate frame. For each computation cycle, the node's position is calculated. The node QC display shows the calculated position and the status. If the status is good, the background remains white. If the status is bad, the background turns gray and the node in question is displayed in red. Keep adding windows as needed. This time add alert display. The alert display was developed to warn the user about failing input-output of interfaced systems. Also options for received or calculated values that do not meet criteria set by the user can be entered here. Add a new helmsman's display. This display includes a left or right indicator, distance in line indicator and a track view. This display is very useful to find out how far our steering point is from the survey track. If it is 2 to the right it will be green with a size in meters, otherwise if it is 2 to the left it will be red. We can choose the reference indicator as the steering point. For example, let's say we choose the center vessel as a reference in the survey track. Or if needed, we can choose another node such as a gun array as a reference in the survey track. Add a new swath system display. This display show corrected multi-beam data, including blocking parameters and TPE error ellipse. This window only available when a multi-beam echo sounder system is available in the database setup. 
This window can be used to compare depth data obtained by multi-beam with a single beam echo sounder. Add alphanumerical display. This window serves as show all kinds of available information in numerical form. This window is very useful to show information about our survey. We can add one or more to this window. For example, I will add information about the status of our survey. We can add any information we want. For example, survey time, the time needed to travel the trajectory, the distance to the survey track, vessel speed, vessel heading, depth information, or other information we need. We can also edit the layout so that the font is as we want. In addition, alphanumerical display can also inform how much distance is obtained between our vessel and the sensor in the water. For example, I will add the distance between the stern of the ship with the side scan sonar, as well as the distance between the stern of the ship and the magnetometer. You can add any other distance information as needed. Before we go online, check your computation setup. Make sure your computation setup is correct. Select the correct steering point. For this example, I chose the center of vessel as the steering point that will be a reference in the survey track. If you have a sound velocity profile, enter it in the SVP window. In the Session Setup window, add the Survey Path database we created earlier. You can see my previous video about creating a survey trajectory in Survey Manager. After we add the survey database, then we can choose in Line Planning, which trajectory we will survey. Return to the Session Setup window. Check the sounding grid to be used. If you don't have one, then you can make a sounding grid first. Make sure what layers will be saved in this sounding grid. Check the naming of the database that will be created when we record the data. Generally, the data we store is multi-beam echo sounder data. Check your fixing setup. Fixing is the way we mark locations during surveys. This fixing setup can be based on time intervals, manual, or distance intervals. Set up how you will make the fixing. Now we will try to get online with the basic setup that we have made. Because we are using a simulator, we will set the position of our ship near the trajectory we will survey. Use geodetic utility to find out the position of longitude latitude we want. Enter this geographic position into the simulator, then reset the simulator. Don't forget to fill in the direction of the ship so that it matches the trajectory of our survey. To record data, click the record button. When we record data, the controller window will turn red indicating that the data is being recorded. We can edit the appearance of the navigation window so that one with another is different as I explained earlier. You can customize the appearance of your navigation window as you wish.
We can mark in the navigation window about objects that are visible online. Let's say there is a fishing gear in our survey area. This needs to be done for further planning, whether we need to avoid it or not. Suppose you have finished doing a survey, then you can select the stop button to complete your survey. After we press the stop button, the data will be saved in the database folder. I think it's enough for this tutorial about basic online setup. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to follow my latest videos. Thank you, bye.